Mm-hmm. Oh, no, you're not. Okay, hold on one second. Hello, hello, hello. What's going uh, on, everyone? Uh, it's K-I-M and the S-A-V. Kim out of Savannah, Georgia of BetterBodyCrew.com. And y'all did not plan on doing a live, but I got another one on the phone. I got another person. Unless you hate money, you should be watching this, okay? So this client reached out to me, soon to be Better Body VIP. She reached out to uh, me um, uh, this morning. And I haven't put you on speakerphone yet. And so, um, y'all know I've been packing up my orders. And uh, we finally got on the phone. It was my fault. <laughs> but we finally got on the phone. And everything that she's saying, I'm absolutely loving. I'm not going to say your name. If you want to, you can. Um, but I'm going to put you on speakerphone now. All right, you there? I'm here. Okay, so I am loving these little impromptu interviews and all of my people that watch me on the video marketing all over social media, how y'all are so open to share with the people because y'all are saying some really good stuff. All right, so y'all, for those of you who are in my company, and even if you're not, please listen to this. This young lady reached out to me. You heard about CBD products before, right? Yes, I heard about it. This is like the fourth time in, in two months that I've heard about CBD. Who did you first hear it from? I want you to basically t say what you said to me, and I'm going to try to shut up. Okay. So I heard about CBD. I kept saying, okay, I'm praying about something. I want to lose weight. I want to get in shape. To me, health is wealth. I'm a nurse, and I'm wanting things better for my patients. And I mean, I'm a hospice nurse and an ER ICU nurse. So I mm -hmm. wanted something better, but I love to be a product of the product because if you know this social media, everybody is selling everybody is selling. So I said, okay, I got to find somebody. I heard it about a young lady in church about two months ago and CBD helped her tremendously in her, um, some issues she had in her body. She lost weight. So she's like, CBD is the truth. Well, in my spiritual mind, I'm thinking, okay, I can't do this because, you know, I'm thinking this is not right. This is not a God, but sometimes we end up you know, letting that thing uh, end up uh, being a failure. So I said, okay, this could be something that can help not just myself, but other people. So a week later, I heard it from, uh, about it from another young lady. And I was like, okay, why is she talking to me about CBD? And it could be the fact that I keep asking about it and I'm praying about it, and I'm trying to lose weight and get healthy. So she talked to me about CBD. She wasn't selling it, but she was, uh, she was actually also wanting to, you know, do her own review and testimony as well. She has just signed up with another young lady. Then last week, I was at Planet Fitness working out. You know, had worked, met two young ladies who are now distributors of CBD. So she comes to me and says, you got to try this product. I lost 35 pounds. Her skin is beautiful. So I was like, that's the third time that I've heard about CBD. So, but every time I get on certain um, social websites, I would hear nothing but how people would talk about CBD, and it wasn't to where I'm huge on knowing someone, liking someone, and trusting. If you know them, you like them, you trust them, then you're going to be more apt to want to sign up with them because, like I said, anybody can sell you something. But I want to know if I can have a relationship more than just the fact that you're trying to make a dime off of me. Oh! I said, I got, I said, I got to, I got to reach out to, to this young lady. So I started doing research like everybody do. We research it too. Sometimes we research out and we keep saying and asking for wisdom and we're just afraid to step out. Sometimes you got to step out into that thing and let faith take its, take its work. So I was like, okay. I'm going to stop talking about it, and I'm just going to walk into it, so I got on social media, on YouTube, and I'm like, I'm going to reach out to this young lady, and that's why I reached out to you today, and I know it was back and forth, because I'm out here saying patience as well, it was Atlanta traffic, and I said, I'm going to just do this one more time, and reach out, because it was just, you know, I, I got busy, I got busy, but I said, I had to reach out to you, because your spirit it's something about you that you're so passionate about this business, not the fact that it's a business, but you're passionate about this product. So I was like, I want what you want. I want what you have. So that's why oh, I'm you today. And this is what I say. I mean, you... 
you know, it's so hard for me to cut, for me not to cut people off because, and I said this yesterday, like I always have good conversations with people because I call people into my life, right? Like I know who I'm supposed to work with. I know who I'm supposed to serve both as clients and consultants. And so usually when I put my message out there, only the people who resonate with that message will respond. So when they respond, it's always like, girl, girl, girl. <laughs> And it's always like I'm talking to somebody that I know and I and I'm happy. Thank you so much. Thank you for doing this because I want more people. There are things that clients don't tell people. They just stop buying. Well, clients do tell people stuff. They they tell you not with their mouth, but with their money. So what I want you guys to get from this, and the reason why I'm Facebook Live in this, eventually it will, of course, be a YouTube video, just like the one yesterday. The reason why I want y'all to, to listen to this is from someone that before... 10 29 a.m this morning i had no no clue who she was we were not in communication and um her first message was like i found you here i want to do the products interested in the business boo do 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 like everything that i like for people to tell me just up front so for those of you who are saying well i try to talk to people i try to recruit people it's like pulling teeth well that means what did she say she said people do business with people that they know like and trust Y'all, it does not take you having all the name brand things. It doesn't take you being perfect. It doesn't take you, you know, I'm right now I'm in my house robe. <laughs> and she's she's in between doing her job. And, and But people who want it, they want it. And if they want it from you, then they will reach out to you. And it'll, it'll be so simple. I mean, it's just, you got to understand this. It is not about who tells a person about a thing first. Look at how many other people told her about CBD. And I'm not in Atlanta anymore. I was there um, last weekend, but you know, I'm in some, I go back and forth from, I live in Savannah now, but I go back and forth between Savannah and Atlanta. But somebody was right at her gym, y'all, and told her about this, but she still went. And, and this is the thing I also want y'all to understand. There are two types of clients. There are clients that will just buy. They had an emotional, you know, reaction to something that they saw or heard and they're like ah give it to me and then there are those clients that are like okay let me look into this now in my experience um now both clients are good that both clients will make you money but if if you want a client that is committed to the journey and if you want a long-term money then you want a client who is going to take this seriously, who's going to do a little bit of research. And when those people do their research, if you're just spamming your link out there, just throwing your link out there, you might get people to buy, but are they really serious? And will they buy from you continuously? If you are actually trying to connect with people, though, y'all, then, oh, my gosh, it's going to be so much better. It's, it's a little bit of a slower route. You can throw your link on 50 million platforms and maybe people will buy. Does it take time to have conversations? Yes. But to me, I personally enjoy it. And if you do your job, your job properly, then like she diagnosed herself, not diagnosed. That's the wrong word. But she, <laughs> she gave herself a consult. You got me on the medical terminology since we talked about the whole nursing thing. <laughs> but she told me, she said, this is, these are the products, the three products that I want. And the three products that she picked, they're three of my favorite products. I am completely on board with what she selected for herself. And so we're going to finish up this right here. But I just wanted y'all to hear again from some, because y'all don't listen to me. <laughs> so I wanted y'all to hear from some, they don't, they, they become immune, right, to my voice. But I wanted y'all to hear from yet another person who is telling y'all that people do business with people that they know, like, and trust, not the first person that tells them about it. You, it, please understand this. You can, you can be a part of a great company with a great product, but ultimately people buy you and then everything after the fact. I work on me more than I work on selling this tea. I say that all the time and it's the truth. And it doesn't take much, y'all. Just be yourself. All right, so I'm going to end this Facebook Live. Thank you so much. You stay right there. I'm going to take you off a of speakerphone. Stay right there. Because we're going to finish transacting our business. <laughs> all right, y'all. Listen, thank y'all so much for watching. If you are watching on Facebook, I want you to hit follow and see first before you go. Um, and if you're watching on YouTube, then uh, hit subscribe and bang the bell to the right. Ding dong. So every time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.